Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community-driven trading education. Looking at the tech sector, XLK, Apple, Facebook, daily, weekly time frame, we had a sell off at the end of the day in the market. It looked pretty brutal looking at the shorter term time frames, but if you look at the daily, it's no big deal. Coming from the all time high on the tech sector, it's a bull flag of consolidation right now. We've seen bull flags in the past lead to continuation. Still the potential for that. Anything above 5631 is a higher low on the daily, maintaining the strong uptrend, keeping the bulls in full control. So we did close with momentum heading for the bears. We'll see if that carries over into tomorrow and the day we get tomorrow heading into the testimony on Thursday is going to be uh, a bit telling in my opinion as to what to anticipate. If we were to see another red day tomorrow and a close near the low of the day, then the bears would have some short-term control and we would personally, or I would personally want to be out of any bullish positions and potentially taking some initial bearish positions. And what the good thing about where we stand here on these charts is if taking bearish positions, the stop loss level is very, very clear. If the bulls break to all time highs and break the resistance levels that we've established the past couple of days, then obviously they have control and that is the exit signal for any of these bears. So resistance is up at 57.42. Weekly time frame still very strong. It's just a very small range, brief consolidation candlestick right now. It would take a lot of bearish action for the rest of the week for this candlestick to be foreboding for those bears or for those bulls i should say apple yet again getting crushed here in the sense that the bulls had so much momentum at the end of the day and we were just looking at the all-time high that was really the only resistance level we had left and just like the last time we saw a bull move and then the downgrade to crush it this end of the day action pulled back saw a lot of profit taking and gave back a ton of profits so the middle bollinger band support is still holding that has held five days in a row that's an important level to be keeping an eye on but if we cannot see follow through, we have not seen two solid green days in a row on Apple since right before the all time high. Since then, we've had a couple green days mixed in there, but not two in a row. The momentum and follow through has not been there. So we're looking at 155.81 and then the all time high of 156.65. And the middle Bollinger Band is going to continue being important. If we lose that level, I'm looking down at 152.22 as the next support. Weekly time frame, very, very tight, just trading sideways. Absolutely healthy consolidation for these bulls and ideal consolidation sideways. If you're going to consolidate as a bull, that's how you want to do it. And we're still holding exponential supports. We're on declining volume. We know a break is imminent on this weekly time frame. And we'll see if we get it this week. If not, certainly next week we should anticipate a spike in volatility. Facebook. Upper wick from all-time high yesterday, seeing profit taking. Upper wick today from just below that all-time high. So a potential top fishing play with the inability to break that all-time high by about 19 cents. And we're pulling back healthy consolidation. Anything above 150.30 is a higher low, keeping the bulls in control. We can see the middle Bollinger Band is going to be holding up, ascending before that support level. So that's a little bit of a cushion. And again, same thing as everything else. We're watching to see how much follow through to the downside, how much momentum the bears have into tomorrow. And it's going to require a break of these higher lows on all these individual names in order for the bears to regain, or I should say gain, any kind of momentum. Weekly time frame, potential bearish reversal candlestick. Last time we saw one, we did see a couple weeks of consolidation. So we'll be keeping an eye out for that as well, although earnings were a factor there as well. So it is a bearish reversal candlestick, a little bit more of a range than we're seeing on SPY or XLK. So we'll watch to see how this forms with three trading days left to go and some action coming Thursday. Then obviously we can anticipate the shape of this candlestick will change by then. So we'll keep checking back in as always, and we will see you tomorrow.